Donald Trump received his first classified security briefing this week. Amid criticism, some of his top advisors are tied to Russian interests. All new at 6, KVU political reporter Mark Wiggins joins us with a glimpse at what kind of information the presidential candidates are learning. Well, Tina, either Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton will be the next president. Both are now cleared to get a watered down versions of what the current president receives every day. Donald Trump received his first classified briefing at New York's FBI office. It's really kind of an overview of the world at a 30,000 foot level, focused in on the hot spots over the last 24 hours. Former State Department official Fred Burton is with geopolitical intelligence firm Stratfor. For example, Russia, Syria, bombings in Turkey, and there might even be a smattering of uh, domestic information like the um, riots that occurred in Milwaukee. Among those participating in Wednesday's briefing, House Homeland Security Chair Michael McCall. At a book signing in Austin beforehand, the Texas congressman suggested Trump's recent remarks on national security have shown improvement. Having said that, I think what I, where I think he could use uh, better advice would be with Mr. Putin in Russia. I, I think, uh, uh, I don't think Mr. Putin has our best interests at heart. Trump's tangle of Russian relationships is drawing increasing scrutiny, in particular after Russian spies hacked Democrats' emails. UT historian Professor Jeremy Suri points out running mate and former CIA director George Bush faced allegations of foreign finagling in 1980. The allegations are that he passed a message to the Iranians telling them not to release the hostages until after the election and that they would get a better deal once again working with with the Reagan administration. These allegations tend to be exaggerated, but there always is a little kernel of truth about communications occurring. Candidates won't be briefed on sources or methods. Intelligence officials are under no illusions when it comes to the candidate's capacity for confidence. You live with that inside Washington all the time that whatever is briefed to any political official can potentially wind up in the open source or be leaked to the news media. And again, they'll both get that same information. Clinton hasn't spoken about her briefing. Both will get the same information. Mark Wiggins, KVU News. All right, Mark, thank you. As you get ready to send the kids back to school this year, a local mom has some advice. I listed a few items right away, and within one hour, sold my first item. How she recommends you offset the cost of getting classroom ready. Despite a lot of clouds, not a whole lot of rainfall, at least not yet. Only six one hundredths of an inch reported officially at Kent Mabry, a little over a quarter of an inch so far at Bergstrom. But take a look at the dark skies down in the south. Thunderstorm approaching South Austin. Let you know when it will arrive into downtown next.